Last week on Sailing La Vagabond in Rarotonga, we prepared for our passage to Niue. Good morning, how are we going? Good, thank you. Busy, uh, but good. Busy? Okay, I'll be very quick. Do you know where the sails are? Yes, it's the rope. Came in last night. So cool. Excellent, pick. excellent. So you'll, you'll be getting it today. Okay, so what time should I pick him up and where from? Uh, from here. We'll, from we'll, here? We'll bring it. But, okay. Um, I've just, it arrived last night, so they've just got to unpack their containers. Yep. But we'll have it today. Awesome! Great news. Thank you very much. Um, we've got our new sails. Once again, we were waiting for a delivery in a strange port in the middle of nowhere. I was stoked to find the sails had finally arrived in the back of a truck. happy because after two weeks in Rarotonga, these new sails were our ticket out of here. As beautiful as this place was, it was definitely time to move on. up our anchor so we've slid back and also it's low tide which has pushed us back a bit more as well so we're not that tight on the anchor chain we could come up but I don't want to muck around with it too much hopefully the weather hopefully the wind drops down a bit tomorrow because if we were to do it now and we were to catch a gust of wind coming this way it could push us into the boat next door yeah well, we met them and they're nice people we don't really want to yeah, do that yeah we don't want to do that hey also sign on it? No, do, well I don't know. I what don't are you so. doing? Alrighty, so tomorrow. We decided to do what we could before the sun set, so we took down the old sails and prepared the new. Uh, too much help, but could I ask you some questions? Yeah, I think so. It's possible, yeah. Just uh, drop it all. Yeah, with the hammer. Uh, Thank you. I think you must go. Alright, so what happened? Well, I asked the guy next door for help. I don't know if you can see, there's little spines on those things. So I was tapping away furiously with my screwdriver that's the right size to fit through there and my hammer but I was just doing it backwards. So if you if you tap it one way, it's really easy, and if you tap it the other, it's really difficult. So he just came over and went, tick, tick, tick. what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. And I was like, thanks, Francois. I think I was doing it backwards, mate. And I was like, you can go next door again. I'll come get you when I have my <laughs> drama. <laughs> oh, what a legend. Yeah, he's a nice bloke. important bit of equipment. Oh, lucky. Did you get mad at it and throw it? No, it was cut, it was curled up. We're missing two buttons, so Riley's just assigned me the job of looking at the GoPro video of when he lost one in the water. So I'm having a look now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's hard to tell. Oh, so we did. Hold on, what's that? You can see it like spaghetti over to the water. Sorry? Nah, it was only one button, Riley. I remembered from an email months and months ago that I was supposed to cannibalize the buttons from the old sail, which we eventually did. Um, and this has been very time consuming. We've got to put these little cleats on and this pin 
has to go through this and it gets stuck on the material and you've got to like wedge it to the back with with this <laughs> and then use a hammer so one of these has taken me about 10 minutes We continued into the evening and night trying to get as much done as we could whilst the weather was bearable. <laughs> okay. In the spare room? Yeah. Thanks, Jules. Riley's already hard at it outside. We've checked it out officially and uh, we are free to go. We're gonna come in on the anchor and hoist the sails, but there's a cat that is anchored in front of us, so hopefully we're not too close to them and we can get the job done. We definitely still had a bit more to do before we could head off, but I had something far more important to take care of first. <laughs> so what's going on, boys? Um, well, we've got to try the world famous Palace Burger, which is Apparently the big thing to do in Rarotonga. And we've been 50 metres from it and haven't eaten one yet. I'm doing this for the movie. Because I'm just going to feel so bad after this. 20 past nine in the morning. It's going to be worse than the two cart hangover. What's in the palace burger? Uh, this cost for two patties, eight cheese, bacon, pineapple. Can I just have one patty? <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's with one patty. Yeah. Oh my god. You can't even wait for Julian. Nah. That's very rude. I'm going to try attempt to get it in one bite, the whole burger. <laughs> I started to feel a bit sick. After some old groover cast us off, I came in on the anchor. Unfortunately, our anchor was all over the place and we weren't holding where we wanted to for the whole operation. So we decided to motor to the leeward side of the island where it was calm to get the new sails up. Directions I can find myself missing my sea where I can go swim with the fish. We eventually got the sails up on the southern end of the island, pulled the tender up and officially departed the Cook Islands and headed west towards Nui. What are you gonna say about today? I'm gonna say how wonderful it was. It was a really, really good day. Uh, it was one of the worst mornings we've had in a long time. It's not every day you get new sails, but wow, like that was really. really Did we get hectic. any footage? We, well, I, I don't think you can see us screaming in the footage and yelling. But oh, I swore at Elena and she told me I was a really bad captain. Yeah. All this morning. Yeah. So anyway, we've made friends now. Haven't we? We have. <laughs> we got 15 knots of wind on a beam. So. Which for those of you who aren't sailors out there is 90 degrees. Yeah. So that way's north. And we are headed directly to Nui. Nui. We've been saying Nui the whole time, but it's Nui. Is it? Yeah, Nui. That's how the locals say it. Nui's Newcastle, isn't it? Yeah, Nui. <laughs> Shout out to Nui. How are you feeling, Julian? It's your first sail. Well, um, not ever, well, but on the bagger. Yeah, I haven't been seasick yet, so that's a good sign. And yeah. You devoured a 12 kilogram palace burger. <laughs> Had a big burger, coffee, probably the worst thing to do before a sale. And Nailed it. <laughs> I'm going okay. Cool. So hopefully you can sleep tonight. What do you think? 
Um, I had a little lay down before to just test what it's like, and it's. <laughs> it's like your, your stomach sort of rolls yeah. with the mattress, sort of like. It's like being on a gym ball sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it should be okay though. Alright, I'll ask you again tomorrow when you have <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. slept. <laughs> Just um, he heard a weird sound with the head sail, and because it's new, we're like, "What the hell is this?" I was saying to the boys today, it feels like there's two strangers on the boat, like the two new sails. I don't know who they are yet. <laughs> All right, Riley. So tell me about the strange noises you had. The wind blew up. We started tilting over a bit, heeling over, as they say. And uh, so I came outside to lend a bit of a hand if I could. We uh, wound in some of the head sail, and then I don't know. It's just it's just different. It's new, so we're just finding out all the little nooks and crannies of it. And uh, it was flapping a bit, and we figured out that we really need to tighten up on it, get it really get it really tight, which stops that uh, flapping. Even even with the wind from a bit on a beam from about 90 degrees. So. I'm about to go rescue it and throw it back in the water. Oh, I'm really sorry that our boat was there. Alright. Oh my gosh. Alright. 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my gosh. Alright. See you on. See you little one. My fingers smell like fish. Oh. Really gross. I really should have just put that in Julian's bed and I'm totally bummed that I just threw it in the water. Got away lucky this time, Jules. How's your night? Well, not too bad. Elena was just saying that she nearly got hit by a flying fish. Well, actually got hit in the eye. <laughs> well, I hit the canopy came down and got me in the eye and then started flapping around and they stink. Yeah, they stink really bad. So I grabbed that and threw it overboard. How could people eat them when they stink so bad? And then put, put that dishwashing liquid and got it all over my hands and I had to like wipe my eye because my eye stink. <laughs> Right about here was when stuff really started to get hectic. For a day that had started off a treat, with a nice 12 knots of wind pulling us at about 7 knots, by lunchtime the wind was gusting to 25 and it was absolutely bucketing down. Here's the rain we thought would come today. This is what Riley always does. That's actually pretty fun. I told Julian, no coffee, only herbal tea. That's why he's doing coffee, no bueno on the boat when he's seasick. I got one of those feelings, just like Lieutenant Dane. I knew the weather wasn't going to give up and it was going to be a sleepless night for the lot of us. I'm just on standby. There was a bit of a squall when I woke up and things got a bit hairy. What do you think? I'm glad it calmed down a bit. We left at the wrong time. We should have. If we weren't waiting for the sails, I would have left three days earlier. But dictating to the weather rather than having the weather dictate to us. We're always going to come off second best, aren't we? Alright, what's going on? Well, I've just rallied the troops. We're going to take a third reeve in the mainsail 
for a number of reasons. Uh, I believe that the southerly winds oh, that were due to come in the next couple of days have come early. And uh, we've had eight, sustained 18 knots this afternoon, so I'd rather get uh, a third reef in the main rather than like during the day rather than at night. Also, we're on, it's coming from a port quarter, so it shouldn't really interfere with our speed nor comfort. So it's a win win. Win. You're going to turn into the wind, then I want you to knock off this red one. Yeah. Alright, then I'm going to pull it down, I'm going to tie it, tie it up at the front. Okay. Whilst I'm doing that, still more, I want you to pull in on this, and then I'm going to have to tie the half green one through, through the second little hole. It had been such a difficult and tiring trip so far, as you can see by me being in the fetal position there. That afternoon though, it cleared up and we were hopeful for things to brighten up a little for our remaining days at sea. Next week on Sailing the Vagabond, I throw a fish at Elena's bum we smile at the camera for a little bit as the sun sets. I have a really fast wind in on the reel and we have a look at some nice blue water. Oh, I just want a doggy on the boat. I just want a dog on the boat. Give a thumbs up for dogs, because they're cool. Like the video. <laughs> thumbs up for doggies. Thumbs up for doggies. <laughs>